I hope you're ready to stand out because in today's video, we're not just going to be going over fragrances that kind of fly under the radar and, and are just your typical run of the mill, fresh, clean smells that don't really make people think twice. That's not what we're covering today. In fact, I'm trying to branch out and do the opposite with this video. And I looked through my collection and I tried to pick up some things that you don't normally smell. You know, these are things that kind of stand out on their own. And also to that point, most people out there aren't gonna be wearing these. You know, these aren't your typical YSLY and Sauvage and Nautica Voyage and Versace Pour Homme, you know. Not for nothing, those are great scents. However, they are used heavily. These are gonna give you a fighting chance to stand out and smell more unique, but still being designers for the most part. Actually, we do have a niche in here, but ultimately, these are just gonna give you an opportunity to kind of uh, separate yourself from the crowd. And again, with that, you are gonna have a lot of attention on you, hopefully mostly in a positive light, although some of these could be a little bit daring, so these are definitely gonna be for the extroverts out there. So if you wanna stand out, this is the perfect video for you. Now, I will link these down below so you can pick these up if you want. Also, I have a mailing list you can sign up to, so if you want to get some of the best deals that you can possibly get on rare, discontinued, and hard to find fragrances, then sign up to that mailing list. It's completely free. And I also do the same thing on my community tab if you don't wanna get the emails. However, community tab doesn't send out notifications, and emails do. So that kind of gives you the best chance to make sure you don't miss out on anything because typically when I post them up, they go pretty quick if it's something hot. All right, let's get it kicked off with kind of a, a summer scent, you know, so we're going out of season uh, for a few of these, but that's okay. It's Lamal on Board by Jean-Paul Gaultier, so one of the many, many flankers here. And this one kind of takes replacement of the discontinued Oh Fresh Superman and or Popeye, just the Oh Fresh, you know, those were a couple limited editions and then they discontinued both and that DNA uh, doesn't exist anymore. And this one kind of steps up and fills that role. Again, this is not super similar in terms of scent, but it does kind of do a similar thing. It's in the same vein, but it's not a clone and or nothing like that. So this one has tonka bean, bergamot, and geranium in here. So a little bit of a minty green smell, bright bergamot up top, and then a little bit of sweetness. Again, kind of a similar delivery or format to what Popeye Oh Fresh did, you know, some of that sweetness mixing with some of that freshness. And that DNA generally works really well because it's something that appeals to a lot of people. Some people like freshies, some people like things that are a little bit more sweet, and if you combine both of them, you end up with a really solid product that at the end of the day is going to get you a lot of feedback and turn a lot of heads. I've talked about this one quite a bit over the summer last year now, which is crazy to say, and uh, I'll continue to talk about it this summer as well and wear it because I think this is really good. And in terms of the summer-oriented fragrances from the line, this is my favorite one that's in production. Okay, next up we have Dunhill Custom. So a nice little cheapy here, going uh, on the more affordable side. And even though it's affordable, it is unique. Now this has red apple, there's incense, and some black pepper in here. So quite the unique breakdown. You know, this is not something that you would maybe expect from something in this price range. Because I've talked about this before, but generally a lot of things in this price range are going to trend on the fresher side because those are much cheaper and easier to make and they'll sell more of them because it's more mass pleasing. So this is a brand that's kind of branching out and doing something a little bit more unique with their cheapy and it definitely shows. So you get a little bit of that fruity kick up top, nice sweet apple, smells great, kind of a mouth-watering juicy apple, but then you get hit with some smoke, some pepper, just a really, really nice combination that Really works great in the cooler weather. You know, it's kind of, I guess, a, a moderate mid-range weather type of scent. So I guess your spring and your fall seasons and, and anything else in between. Sometimes maybe in the winter you have a warmer day to where it's not too brutally cold and this would work great. And same thing with summer, cooler summer days, cloudy, overcast, rainy, whatever. That's kind of what this one's going to like. But ultimately it is something different for not a lot of money at all. Moving up next, we have Dolce & Gabbana The One. Eau de Parfum Intense. So this has cardamom, cashmere, and benzoin in here. And I believe with that cashmere, there might also be some musk as well. And there's a few other notes, some other woods going on, but 
that's what I get basically is the ones that I listed off there. So a little bit of a warm spice from the cardamom up top. It smells amazing. I love that note though, so I am biased. However, I do think this flanker is, is really well done and I didn't really think so at first. I, I didn't care for it as much. It's one of those things where with time, I started to come around to it and I started to realize like, you know what? Now I'm starting to see maybe some uses or some some applications for this that I didn't normally see. You know, this has a real nice kind of classy smell to it and it's still very wearable and more versatile to me compared to the original of the DNA, the one. That's just a date night scent to me. That's what I think of anyway. This one has kind of a wider variety of uses to me. And so I think for fall and winter time, for a multitude of situations, this one would work really well and it would have you smelling classy and well put together and refined and you would smell like you have good taste. You know, there's nothing out there really quite like this and most guys probably aren't going to be onto this stuff. So you'll definitely stand out. Going back to the more affordable side, we have Mercedes-Benz Le Parfum, Oud, Violet Leaf, and some Amber in here. So this is an interesting one because you're getting a, a mixture of fresh kind of ozonic qualities from the violet leaf and maybe even a little bit of a, a watery feel, so to speak. But then you're getting oud. And generally that's not a, a combination that you usually see with oud. A lot of times with oud comes rose and saffron and, and maybe some other notes like that. And so they kind of give off just a completely different feel overall. And that's actually why a lot of people don't like oud fragrances. In my opinion, I don't always think it's actually the oud, but it could also be what is kind of supporting the oud. But in this instance here, it's supported with freshness and, and kind of ozonic notes and, and things of that nature to make it really, really easy to pull off. And ultimately very likable. That oud kind of gives it a nice smoky woodiness. There's almost a leathery accord in here as well. I can't actually remember if they have that listed off, but I pick up on something similar to that. This is really well done for the price. I mean, Mercedes-Benz, they have some bangers under their belt. Club Black is a great one. This is another one that's really good. Also, Mercedes-Benz Cologne in the same line. That's a Dior own Cologne clone. Uh, that one's discontinued, the Mercedes uh, version of that. Uh, if you can get it for a good price, I would. A little digression there, but they have some hits, and this is one of them, especially when you can get it for this price point. You are going to smell super unique, and you're going to smell like you spent a lot more money than you really did. This bottle's pretty wild here. Bentley for Men, Silver Lake. So another car brand, back to back. I didn't even plan that. Didn't even realize that until just now. Um, but this is another great bang for your buck brand. I mean, these Bentley fragrances are some of the best on the market in this price range, in my opinion, and I stand by that completely. This has lemon, violet leaf, and mint. So um, I guess those kind of run together. It sounds like they would, the violet leaf, but they're completely different. I can assure you that. This one, if you've smelled Aqua de Joe Ascenza before, might ring a bell to you. And Ascenza, uh, a discontinued flanker, was really known for the aromatics pushing forward. You know, that was a great one and it kind of wasn't appreciated as much until it became discontinued. And so while you have the original, which is pretty much all aquatics and citruses, you got Profumo, which is adding some smoke and patchouli to it, Profondo, mineral notes and orange and that sort of thing, right? The flankers go in a bunch of different directions. Ascenza really kind of was grounded to a nice aromatic take and, and I guess even to some extent for the time, a little bit more of a grown up and refined take on the original DNA. And this kind of actually reminds me a little bit of the good old days of Ascenza. And even this mintiness in here is, is really, really nice. Nice green mint off, off the top there and even carries over into the mid and it, it smells great. And if you like the DNAs that I just described there, a little bit of Aqua de Joe Ascenza, maybe some of the original Aqua de Joe, and just a little bit of a different take, you know, their own twist here on this. This is a great one to pick up. About $54 or 100 mil online, so cheaper than any of the Aqua de Joes, way cheaper than Ascenza. Great performer as well, and definitely a must have. Okay, moving along, we have Armani Stronger With You Intensely. Now this has toffee, it's got some cinnamon in here, and um, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of tonka bean. And this one's kind of interesting because they don't have chestnut listed off. And the chestnut accord is what made the original. 
They didn't list it here. They brought it back in absolutely, and it's carried over into a couple others as well. I think only they uh, featured it in there. Uh, I do pick up on it though a little bit to be fair, but it could also be the toffee kind of giving it this edible dessert type of smell. You do get that. The cinnamon, nice warm spice, but it's not overbearing. The Tonka vanilla combination is nothing short of iconic, and that is used all the time, so no surprise to see it here. But I mean, just look at the coloration of this stuff. Nice deep ambery color. You know, such a delicious wintertime gourmand. And this is the type of thing that's gonna draw people in. Someone gets a whiff of this, they're gonna wanna track down and, and see where the source is. And, and they're not really gonna be able to get enough of this until they figure out what it is. There's just something really addicting about this stuff and I love it. Now this next one is one of those scents that I just can't help myself. Like, if I see the bottle sitting there on the shelf, nine times out of 10, I'm picking it up, I'm pulling off the cap, and I'm just smelling it. Now, I don't spray it on every single time, especially not lately because it's, you know, it's winter time and I try to really distance myself from the citruses and the freshies because I have all summer to wear those. Even though sometimes I do crave them in the winter time, I, I try not to. I just try to stay seasonal with it so I can rotate through my collection efficiently. So everything is somewhat getting used, even though that'll never fully happen. But this is Afnan Tarathi Blue, and this is all about the grapefruit. There's some amber in here as well. This is essentially Bulgari Tiger, but on a, a fraction of the budget there. Uh, Bulgari Tiger, I can't remember, like $300, 250 300 maybe a bit more. This is 46 and I don't even own a bottle of Tiger. I've only sampled it, and I wore through my sample because I really liked it, but even I couldn't really get myself to, to buy a bottle, and I could easily just buy it and talk about it on the channel, and then it's worthwhile, right? But I just, I just didn't feel like doing that. When I discovered this, I was like, okay, let's see how close it's gonna be. I got it in, I've done a review on this already, and I gotta say, this is incredibly close and drop dead gorgeous. There's nothing else out there like this DNA. Again, this is a clone, Tiger started it, right? But this DNA is so, so interesting because it's all about that grapefruit, but it's a mature, refined grapefruit in this ambery smell that comes in behind it. And almost like this patchouli too, just gives it this super, super refined, upscale, luxurious and rich smell. I mean, this smells like pure money and it's very addicting. I recommend just about anyone to check this one out if you're after something masculine and very unique. All right, and speaking of something masculine and very unique, this next one is pretty much the epitome of a video like this, just having all eyes on you, having heads turned to, to figure out what exactly this is because this smells also like pure money. It's Zerzhov Richwood. So there is nothing affordable about this whatsoever. This is the one and only niche in this video. I just figured, hey, if I'm gonna be dropping this $400 thing, I'll just make this the only one in this video. So, you know, if you have uh, some deep pockets, if you have some, some money that's burning a hole through your wallet, then this would be something you could kind of lighten that up with. It says patchouli, sandalwood, and vanilla, but guys, it is really all about the patchouli. And talk about a masculine, traditional, strong, manly man scent. This is it right here, and this is, uh, this is heavy stuff. It's not gonna be for everybody. I mean, this really takes it to the next level. That being said, if you wanna smell like the boss, if you wanna smell like a CEO, if you just wanna smell like you have it going on and you can't be messed with, basically, this is one you should check out. Patchouli lovers will love it. Generally, just guys who like the smell of, of woods and fragrances will like this one. It has a lot of sandalwood as well, like I had mentioned. And those two together work in harmony with this one. Great stuff, but again, it is incredibly expensive. And back down to earth with Artisan Pure by John Vervedos. Now this is a nice, uh, measly $35 or so. So definitely a breath of fresh air. And actually, this is really, really good for the price. The price has dropped pretty much in half. I think this was up there around the $60, $65 range at a consistent basis. I can remember that um, because it was also sold out a lot of the time. It would come back into stock, be around that $65, $60 price range, 125 ml. And uh, 
like clockwork, it would usually sell out again. And that was above average pricing for John Varvatos. I don't know what happened, but there's clearly been a shift in the market. Just must be a supply and demand thing, right? Um, for whatever reason, there just wasn't much of this out there. And now there's abundant abundance of it, I guess. And it's 35, which I'm not complaining at all. To me, it was well worth it at 65. So at half the price, I'm in. Now, this one is all about the orange and the clementine and the petty grain and the neroli. It smells beautiful. This is perfect for a nice, warm spring day. You picture everything finally thawing out. With that usually comes a bunch of soggy, wet grass, right? That, that's the side of the point. Uh, at least the grass is starting to turn green. You're sitting out on your front porch. The birds are finally starting to chirp. You're starting to hear those nature sounds. The sun is out. It's you, you can feel the sun now finally after months of not being able to in the winter. There's just a lot of happiness in this scent. You know, happiness of the world kind of coming back to life around you. Great spring scent. I couldn't think of a better one. And last up for this video, we have F by Ferragamo Free Time. So this one's really quite spicy. I mean, this has lemon, ginger, pink pepper, cardamom, and cedarwood. And yes, the cedarwood here is of the drier variety, aiding to that spiciness. I gotta say, I absolutely love it. I really am a fan of uh, scents like this that are bringing in that lemony citrus, which in and of itself, that lemon's gonna have a pop. And then you get all of those spices, pink pepper fruits, and the, the uh, cardamom, and, and that sort of thing kind of driving in behind it to also give it that pop. I mean, this is one that you can feel. When you spray this stuff, you can feel that spice and it's very refreshing, very invigorating. And another one that would be great for spring going into early summertime. Definitely a big head turner because kind of similar to Artisan Pure, there aren't many things out there that smell similar to these and most guys aren't gonna be gravitating towards stuff like this. They're gonna be gravitating towards the blues and the aquatics. These do it differently. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 fragrances that are gonna have all eyes on you. Big head turners here. If you wanna stand out, these are gonna do it for you. Links will be down below. Deals will be on the community tab. Don't forget to sign up to that mailing list if you wanna get those over there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.